Uh, and I definitely want to watch this because, again, any pedos on the internet, we have the megaphone, dude. We got to make sure everyone's aware. Uh oh, I hit the wrong button. There we go. So, Sunny V2, thank you for bringing this into the light. Uh, let us see what's going on, my dude. Chad's horrible videos and a real uh -oh. bone chilling bone, 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 bone chilling Snapchat's horrible videos and a real life sting operation where he'd try to meet a minor. This is the incredibly creepy story of Buddy Haynes. A Same story as EDP EDP four four five, right? Hey, yeah. TikTok's dirtiest. But again, as much as I appreciate the people who do this stuff, especially like. But if you're from YouTube and you're making a sting operation like this, the problem is that they can't be arrested for the crime. It, only the police can set up a sting operation and arrest them afterwards. Predator. His account going by the they, they pretty much have to go free, but at least the police now knows about it if you turn in the video. On which buddy would describe himself as a 26-year-old jujitsu athlete and gamer. His early videos were a laughable display of what you might call his dancing skills. And while this kind of content was fairly innocent at the start, he then began to post these bizarre provocative videos in which he'd try to come off as a sexy TikTok bad boy. Girls really look for in a guy. You don't have to be funny. Hell, you don't even have to be really that good looking. What they, what they really want is they want a Batman in the streets and a Joker in the sheets. The videos were unbelievably stupid. A Batman in the streets and a Joker in the sheets. Joker is not exactly the best dating uh, suit I know. He kind of just beats the ever-loving F out of, out, of, out, of, out of Harley. I'm saying. Meanwhile, Batman got, he got, oh, he got Huntress? He got, he got, at one point, Harley joined his team, but at the same time, he got Selena. He married that girl. Ooh. Yet in a bizarre turn of events, they were judged as being so terrible that they gained the attention of a few notable YouTubers. He's got a Zelda handbook. He's a little good boy. Zelda hand, what are you talking about, bro? Zelda handbook's such a, ch a Chad move. What do you mean? But then he does that 360, pulls out some handcuffs, leather coat. I don't know what's up with the handcuffs. You, you confuse me with the handcuffs. What's, what's with the handcuffs? Ladies, is that a thing? Do you do handcuffs get you going? Like, what, what do you well, mean? You best watch out for him. He gonna be snatching up your girl all day. This helped the buddy to receive an influx of over 25,000 followers, during which the you- I mean, if it works, if it works, you got the, you got the views. I don't got that many views. So give his opinion. I don't got that many subs. Men need you with handcuffs. Never do that. That's not a good idea. And while nobody knew it at Agreed. the time, Slazo was wise. I mean, unless you're like super, super into it, and it's like, if you don't got the fluffy, like the, the Familia Peluche, like the super fuzz on the handcuffs, then I don't believe you're truly into the kinky handcuffs. Mm -mm. ...to avoid this man with handcuffs, as the buddies content... Like, come on, bro, you gotta go to the actual place... And buy the kinky handcuffs with the freaking the fuzz on it. What are you doing? Only became weirder and weirder believe you. from here on out. Instead of posting innocent dancing videos or even cringy bad boy videos, he rather began to post various creepy TikTok duets, often involving girls who looked underage. There were multiple videos that followed this same kind of premise. Some were innocent, while others were a little more dicey, leading the buddy to receive his first bit of hate, which he'd address in a day. <laughs> what a great. Someone come get their math teacher, it's getting frisky. Upload. To my haters, all you're doing is fueling the fire. When you comment, like my stuff, follow me, and react to my videos and try to down me, you're just making it worse for you. So do yourself a favor. Here's my thing. How do you how do you how do you go how do you go and make a video like this knowing that you're a pedo? Like I don't know what I'm sh like uh, Sunny B2 would not be accusing this guy of being a pedo if he didn't actually start to do some creepy stuff, right? But it's like, how do you make videos like this genuinely, you know, like, I don't know, like trying to bad mouth everyone against you, like talking to your haters when it's actually true. Like, because <laughs> I will continue to do duets with me. Like, I would think you would keep your mouth shut and just keep doing what you do. My fans that love me and I will continue to do videos from my house where I live with my parents who love and support me and I support them because they need me. However, this did nothing to stop those who disliked him as he then posted another video. And it never will, my dude. You just, you just ignore and ban him. There's really no reason to ever. So as you can tell, <laughs> I'm still that easy. I now have another issue. I have not people that found me on Facebook. You harass me on Facebook and I will take you to the police because this is getting oh for crying out loud delete your facebook what do you mean i'm getting harassed on facebook i'm gonna call the police just just delete facebook block them what do you mean there's so much you can do before you start trying to take it to this exaggerated extreme Way too far people this is too far you're I'm gonna you're gonna get douchebags everywhere I, i've worked in retail i've worked as a manager i've like you're gonna get douchebags period it, it, it facebook is not like the 
the, where all the douches like live. <laughs> really no wonder why he was making an effort to hide it as anonymity might have been the only thing saving him from what was about to happen. On the 2nd of October 2008. Thank you. He said the exact same thing. You said it way nicer than I did. I forget. I butchered it. But you know, exactly. You would want to keep your mouth shut if you didn't want to get found out. A TikToker by the name of Bit Hoji would upload a video explaining that the buddy had been acting a little unethical behind the scenes. Buddy, Boudet, talks to girls from the ages of like 12 to 15 he messages them on instagram with very lewd videos and bro how i i respect what you're saying how on earth can you record what your phone i don't trust it i would like two seconds in my my fingers would get tired and i drop the phone on my face like how do you record laying down lewd messages and pictures etc a group of people including myself called him out on it and now law enforcement is taking over as mentioned the buddy had been messaging various underage girls oh so was it actually law enforcement that did the sting by instagram and there was a bunch of evidence to go with it oh how old are you 14 i mean may i be the next i'm sorry before i even read what he says as soon as someone says i'm 14 the next message is oh okay well have yourself a nice a nice life uh you know i don't i don't talk to to, to underage peoples in period men or women uh so i hope you have yourself a, a genuinely nice day uh i you know hit me up on the chat during the stream otherwise uh no direct messages i'm sorry you gotta be 18 plus that's just that's just a rule i follow Richard Review Tech taught me that one, and I'm sticking to it. Mm -mm. No, honest. thank you. Yeah, of course. If it was me, I'd try to make the relationship with you last for years. Ah! That's, like, any response after besides uh, thank you for your time, I appreciate your fan base. Please talk to me on live on stream. Like, anything else besides just I cannot direct message you in private anymore. Goodbye. Like, that's just no. LOL, I feel like I look stupid. You're okay. Don't worry about it. I kind of sort of have a crush on you. This dude, this dude, this dude just went in for it. Shouldn't. And that's basically where he just dug his grave 100%. In a different chat, the buddy Like, I don't have that kind of confidence to ask out, like, other, like, co-workers who I know are in my age range. Like, <laughs> How? Inappropriate photo to a girl who he knew was underage, while in another he threw himself a pity party stating, Just feel ugly and unwanted. No girl finds me cute or anything. Am I that ugly? I feel like it. However- Bro, stop saying that. Like, literally, there are- There are- Like, the problem there isn't that you feel ugly. The problem is that you don't want to date uggos. Like, and I'm sorry if I offend anyone here, uh- like you can you can absolutely find someone for you. It's just a matter of like you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta tone down your expectations, my dude. Uggos deserve love too, and Uggos Uggos need loving. <laughs> but the best chat logs were gathered by Jack. I'm just saying a Aubrey, as he was able to message some of the girls back in 2018 when all of this first went down. Well, why don't you just send me something? Well, it's like blowing a kiss or something. If you don't want to, that's fine. And of course, it doesn't change once he got her phone number. You're a hottie and I'm an ugly. Oh, so I see some sugar daddy action at play here. Huh? Don't do something on Snap. Oops, may I be honest? Yeah. Did you send her money? Sure, haha. I sent those videos because I'm sort of turned on and wanted to tease you. The videos in question were abundant and took the story to a whole new level of creepy. You're the cute one here, not me, so. Not fair. Like, I can't even make you blush, so it seems like. <laughs> make me crush on you even more. However, apparently. Uh, this is giving me like real ugh, icky vibes. <laughs> It's giving me real icky vibes, dude. Only this whole thing was nothing. But it's like, does that, how does that, like, I don't even, I don't even know if I want to know, but how does that work? Does that work, ladies? If I start railing on myself, saying that you're, you're cute and I'm uggo, does that actually work? I think more than a big. Because if that works, ladies above 18, I am uggo. I'm just saying. <laughs> You know, just saying, I'm 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 an uggo. Well, I mean, I've been I've been a lot more handsome lately since I started taking care of myself and shaving. But you know, <laughs> misunderstanding as the buddy would take to his TikTok to state that he'd been hacked, and it was rather bit Hoji, the girl who originally exposed him, who'd been trying to frame him by sending these messages. She'd respond to these. I've been hacked. Ignore the videos of me literally saying it. Claims in the days that followed. I'm flattered that he thinks I'm smart enough to hack into someone's iCloud, and I'm honored that he thinks I'm smart enough to know.
It's not super difficult to hack into someone's iCloud. It's incredibly easy. It literally is just an automated program. You just hit start and it'll start trying a million passwords. How to hack into someone's Instagram and send fake DMs? I would not make something up to this extent just to make someone look bad. And it's safe to say that nobody else was I don't know. I don't know you, but uh, I also don't need to know you. Uh, the, the evidence is pretty clear from the videos. <laughs> Like, that guy has no defense here. But his excuses, as he'd go ahead and turn off his TikTok comment. That's like a that's like an EDP 45 freaking level of trying to convince someone that you're not a pedo. Before vacating the account altogether. TikTokers yep. such as Bithoji began to celebrate, stating that the Bud A case has come to a beautiful close, with a common sentiment being that he'd been arrested. From everything I've seen, it's most likely that he's been arrested, and thank God. Yet, unbeknownst to... Okay, I will say this. Thank you to both of these YouTubers, TikTokers, for, for bringing this to light. Uh, it's, 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 um, uh, and this is no, no kind of judgment or anything like that. It's, it's, I 100% I support you in this. Uh, but like, please don't, please don't try, like, don't throw a, par a party or, or like stuff like that. Try to keep it as, as serious as possible. Cause I feel like a lot of the times we tend to, uh, Oh gosh, now I'm starting to sound like a freaking Karen. Uh, it, it, I just feel like we should just treat it with the severeness and the, and the seriousness that, that, that it actually is. Uh, and I might have to do as well, like some people in my family, I, I literally caught people in my family, uh, not caught them like doing stuff, but I, 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 have, I have caught strangers trying to effectively groom people in my family. And, uh, I had fun with it, you know, I, I messaged them, uh, I won't go into details, but I found out who they were, where they, where, what school they went to, what, li where they were living, like, and I sent them all that info, like, I'm gonna send the police after you, like, you, like, this is, like, like uh, that, that's it, I know where you live, I, I know where, like, your, your info isn't secret, uh, I just sent someone over to check out your stuff, and even if you delete it, it's, it's gonna be found out. Anonymous tip to the FBI cybersecurity team, they take about a month or two to actually get back to you, but they eventually do get back to you, so, it's like, uh, I would really appreciate it if people started to give, like, uh, in these videos, giving uh, that kind of advice. Like, giving them the email to the, to the uh, if it's in America, that is, or, in, I mean, not America, right, but the United States. Give them the FBI cybersecurity team's, like, information so that they could drop an anonymous tip or a non-anonymous tip. And then, like, even if it takes about two, three, I think it took about three months for them to get back to me. You can just send a tip with the information and, and they will eventually get back to you and they'll start to look into it. Buddy, at the time, this was only the tip of the iceberg as Buddy would return shortly thereafter by posting the following video. Let's see what he do. Look who's back. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The day is back. I just decided to take a little mini vacation from TikTok just to kind of cool myself off from all the fire that's been going around. Here's the problem, dude. You you've been found out. Like your next your next move should have been to just stay off the internet for the rest of your entire life. Uh, try to become a normal person and try to get yourself a nice day job where you can just uh, change yourself for the better. So I'm back. Or turn yourself no in if you genuinely. Uh, There's no stopping. And I'm not saying you turn yourself into jail. Turn yourself into psychiatric help to, I don't know where you could really go. Just some kind of loony bin, something. Turn yourself in. Try to get yourself fixed up and try to make yourself a better person and move on. Like, that was the only response you could have taken that would have gotten any kind of respect. Uh, the fact that you're now trying to make a comeback or even defend your actions is incredibly cringe and it's only going to make things worse for you. I'm just saying. The storm, the fire that is the bidet. More followers I get. The, the fire that is the bidet? The bidet is the freaking toilet thing that shoots water in your butthole, isn't it? The more I love to be on here. Even if it's just to piss you off. The bidet was back and creepier than ever. Although it's <laughs> not like people had forgotten about his past, as Jay Aubrey's original expose had gone viral amassing over 2.7 million views, with this newly found infamy leading the bidet to defend himself further in a leaked Snapchat message. Those girls that I did duets with, yes, I did duets. They asked for those duets. No, 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 son. Don't, don't turn this into I was doing duets. You know exactly, he knows exactly what we're all looking at. We're looking at the freaking text messages between him and a 14-year-old. Uh, and the videos he's sending to 14-year-olds. We're not, we're not looking at your freaking duets, dude. Stop trying to make this about your duets. That immediate, that immediate attempt to change the freaking, uh, story. First off, it was not to meant to be sexual or anything. They weren't supposed to come off that way. The FBI has already investigated me. They've came to my house. Back in 2018, when all this, when all that happened. 
they were just asking me what like stuff about TikTok and what it was and that's it. As mentioned, law enforcement had zero interest in what Buddy had done, possibly giving him the confidence to continue, as only four months later a new video was uploaded by Inform Overload, confirming that the Buddy was back to his old and now I can I can shed a little bit of light on this because I, I was lucky enough to talk to one of the FBI agents in, in my situation. Uh, and, and he says that the problem with some of this stuff is like, you don't think, uh, what is that burrito? What makes it good with white rum? Uh, oh, goodness. Right off the top of my head. White rum. A nice good punch. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bird Burrito just text messaged me that. I don't know what it's to do. I'm live on stream. I can't text you. I use my phone as like the thing. But if you're watching Burn Burrito, uh, right off the bat, you can absolutely use some uh, lemonade, believe it or not. It, the, don't put too much rum, white rum. Uh, but white rum tends to have a little bit less of a spice than like uh, the dark rum, like the, the spice rum. Uh, you can absolutely mix it either with like either make yourself an amazing Long Island iced tea if you have some vodka and you have some uh, tequila on hand and Coca-Cola. Or uh, rum and coke, 100% the absolute best drink, uh, in my opinion, when it comes to white rum, when it comes to a rum that doesn't really have too much flavor. Or if you're using coconut rum like the Malibu stuff, uh, Coca-Cola is also pretty good with that, especially with that, because the extra coconut flavor it really adds to the Coca-Cola. Coca uh, but other than that, white rum, yeah, that's, that's pretty much all the things that I would really recommend. It would be either uh, rum and coke, uh, a nice lemonade or a fruit punch. And I've mixed it together with this like strawberry Minute Maid. Pretty good as well, not gonna lie. Uh, that would be my suggestion. If you have a Fanta, if you have like a strawberry Fanta or a pineapple Fanta, stuff like that, if you want some like fuzzy, some fizzy, white rum would go good with those two. Ways in a brand new series of Snapchat. I don't drink anymore, but I used to. I, I used say, to love you drinking it. Cover up for me. Ha -ha. I wanted. I wanted to be a I mixologist. To to you more. Wish I was there. I Which I still might take a class, beautiful. honestly, just to take it. I kind of like. I, it's not like I'm, I stopped drinking girl. alcohol for any like moral right? reason. This I just. I just stopped drinking. I don't know. That proves Buddy Haynes knows about her age. Buddy had stated in an Instagram Q and A that he typically went for girls between the ages. It's expensive of to be to drink. So to be caught Snapchatting a girl he knew was sixteen wasn't the best look. After being when date? I'm sorry. What? When you date someone, what age range do you typically choose? Uh, three years older than me, three years younger than me. Uh, I'm willing to go further on the older part. Like, like there's exceptions. I'm willing to go about five years older than me. I'm 27 right now, by the way. Uh, so I'm 27 right now. Uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily want to date anyone three years younger than me. That would be what about 25? I'm willing to go. F I'm willing, like, if if it's someone that I genuinely made a real, real, real life connection with, I'm willing to go five years older or younger. Uh, and it might have something to do with the fact that my parents are nine years uh, apart, uh, but they were, they were definitely in an age, like, range where, like, they were both legal, and so that, that was a, a much different story there, but for me, it's like five years maximum, maximum away from me, I just, I don't know, if, if you're, like, in your 20s, your 21s, 22s, 23s, you have way too much hope. <laughs> You have way too much, too many expectations about life, and you're you're super positive, and you you know I need a I need a woman, a woman who knows how cruel the world is, and 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 she's gonna she know she knows what it is. We got business to do. After being asked <laughs> were the allegations true, it simply stated she's no. not here to play. We're not here to play around this whole boyfriend girlfriend thing. Allegations to warn you. Is this, is this thing real or not? Bull, which didn't exactly disprove anything, especially since there was more evidence just around the corner. Less than two weeks after stating that the allegations were untrue, oh, man. Now, you got me, now you got me hankering for a rum and cola burrito. Good, talking good, about good a new gracious, I have a Pepsi buddy, though, I'll probably just drink the Pepsi. described in her own words. I found his Snapchat and I started posing as a 16 year old to try and catch him in the act. And here is where I was like, well, you know, I'm not really all that experienced in flirting. And he said that I can practice on him. That's when he said really about me saying, oh, I'm not that experienced in flirting, you know? And then here I told him that I was bored and he's right off the bat whether 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 you're a pedo or not uh if a woman tells you i'm not that good at flirting you 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 don't immediately turn that into a, a use me to practice it's more of like a this is an inappropriate conversation i'm moving on <laughs> especially 16 said he could make it Unless you, unless your entire culture is built around, like at sixteen, I can maybe understand that in Japan, because that's like their, that's their culture, that's their, you know, that's their whole vibe. I don't know, I, I don't really have a strong opinion on that, 
Me personally, I sure as heck am not going for any girl at 16. That's just straight up, like I already said, three years to five years at max. So 22 would be the absolute youngest I would I would absolutely think about dating anyone. I'm willing to hang out with you if you're 18 and above. That's not a problem. Like, I'm willing to hang out, be friends, all that good stuff. But I, I just don't see a romantic relationship really happening. Uh... For uh, for a variety of reasons or whatever, but it's like you you, you at sixteen you, you you just don't you just don't try to communicate with them. Period. Better. And then I asked him what he meant by that, and he said, "Oh well, I'd probably make out with you, haha." And I don't remember why. And that's when he crossed the line right there, point. ladies ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you don't believe he crossed the line before, which I thought he did, uh, that that is an undeniable crossing of the line. Like, like that's that's such a crossing of the line that I might as well call him Mexican because he hopped that border real quick. I can make that joke. I'm Mexican. <laughs> said this, and I was like, um, OK, well, what do you mean by that? And he said, don't need you falling for me. Only three months after this exchange, the buddy was catfished once again, this time by a YouTuber named Activist Plug, who had spent three months convincing the buddy that he was a 17 year old girl. However, Buddy had apparently learned somewhat of a lesson from his past experiences as he kept the conversation platonic the whole time, yet he'd still agree to meet up with the non existent. I'll be honest, I, I still don't think that's okay. Like, I get it. 100% I get it. Uh, even if it's just a platonic conversation, she's still 17, dude. And it's like, I can understand it a little bit more because at 17, at least they're at least close to 18. But even when, uh, what was that one rapper that was banging that one, uh, that one Jenner chick or that one, like there was a rapper that was sleeping with that 17 year old Jenner or, or Kardashian, whoever it was. I felt icky about that whole situation. It had nothing to do with me, right? He, he, if he wants to sleep with an underage girl, that's, that's up to him. And, and I guess the society didn't really care, but, uh, that was, that was icky to me. And, and I still don't think it's I, I, it, 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 like me, if I was in his position, I would still feel icky about it and not want to continue that, that platonic relationship, unless it had something to do with like, oh, you're a YouTuber and you want to collaborate and you're 17. We can absolutely collaborate, but I'm, I'm definitely not going to, uh, like even as a platonic friendship, I think it would be more on a professional level. I don't think I would ever push it to something too personal at 17. Not like there's some kind of arbitrary, oh, it's your birthday, yay, we can talk now. No, it's like, it's more like, I would keep, I, I'd say just keep a professional in, in any sort of sense. And 17 year old, where activist Plug was there to confront him. How are you? Doing good. Good. What you up to? I'm just hanging out. Just hanging out? Yep. Not meeting a friend? No. So you don't know anyone by the name of Cat? No. Oh, anybody. Maybe Cat. You weren't meeting anyone here by six? No. I got a message of you right here. Buddy had been busted once again, this time in the most embarrassing setting to date, after which it seemed as though the Buddy shenanigans might have finally been Bro, that's, 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 like, you you see what I'm saying, though? Like, anything I say, I feel like I feel icky just trying to explain myself, but this dude genuinely drove out the, use gas, first of all, first of all, even a girlfriend would have to convince me before I go wasting gas, okay? Let me tell you, so gas is expensive here, it's $5 a gallon out here in California. Even an actual girlfriend would have to give me a good reason to drive out there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but this dude really drove out to a park and like was setting up to meet up with a 17 year old what you keep you like even just keep like what oh end. no they retire his presence on tiktok and that's all the evidence i needed bro twitch. however with his most impressive twitch clip being him getting five kills on fortnite it's not difficult to see how his account going by the name of papa freak was unable to gain more than 300 followers but he would also try to launch a soundcloud music career under the name freak alpha however to put it lightly the music wasn't very good man I'm over here struggling because I'm trying to get my song, my my first freaking single out there. Like my theme. Well, not, it's not just a single. It's like supposed to be my theme song or whatever for the channel. But I'm over here struggling. I've 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 written an entire draft, deleted an entire draft, rewritten, written again, freaking deleted everything. I just deleted everything from the song I had already done and just started the first verse all over again because I didn't like it. Uh, and it's like this. How is it that some people can just 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 Put out music like this. Who would have thought that falling in reverse would be the claim to fame? And after all these months, still king of the game, everyone knows my name. It seemed as though the buddy had run out of ways to progress on the internet, so we delete his Instagram.
Was he trying to be Ghost from Call of Duty? What was that? Twitter and Facebook <laughs> What's with the face mask? Silent. Rumors began to circulate that he'd been arrested for driving slowly in a school zone, although he wasn't even on the internet to give his side of the story. That would be- Can you get arrested for driving slowly on a school zone? Until January 2021. I mean, I'll be honest with you. When I go and pick up my, uh, the kids from school, like, cops are constantly giving tickets because pe not because not you're driving slow, but because, you know, I pull the whole classic, like, you know, there's no parking around the school, so I just st stop at the stop and put the emergency lights on. I'm one of those douches. I'm going to say it right now. Uh, but there's normally, like, a line of five different people doing that, so we kind of, like, convoy it. You know what I mean? Like, all five of us know exactly what we're doing. And so we just sort of, like, post up, and we all have the emergency lights. Uh, one time a cop drove by and like me and the person behind me got out at the same time looked at each other with this look of like we're doing this and then we just started exchanging information like as if we had a crash or an incident or something and the cop was like understandable moving on moving on uh and then we just like sort of like just chilled there like so you picking up a kid yeah i'm picking up my kids like all right cool bro just okay like here's a piece of paper here's my id what to do how's it going my name's my and we just started like really chatting up and really like going to do it <laughs> And then by the time our kids got here, my kids got here first, and they got in the car. His kids had not arrived yet, so I was like, oh, I'll hang out. I'll, like, yeah, get in the car, kids. Don't worry about it. Like, you just chill. I got some snacks in there. I always like to take them, like, little cold Gatorades and waters and stuff. So they had snacks. They had waters and stuff. And then me and him just sort of chatted outside, pretending to be, like, in the middle of something. And, like, you could see all the, pe all the other five vehicles behind us were, like, driving away. They're getting out of there. Of course, if anyone is genuinely parked there and needs to leave, we move out of the way. But it's just one of those funny situations. I mean, dude, California, L.A., it's, it's so much traffic, so much stuff. You got to do, like, little BS things like that. But I've never seen someone get genuinely arrested uh, for driving slow at a school, it's like, you don't even have kids, bro. What are you doing? Approximately 18 months after anybody had heard from him, when the buddy would create a new YouTube channel called Papa Freak before uploading a video titled Bro, that's so much weirder. That's so much weirder than what you had before. Why? Campfire chat clearing the air, in which Buddy would finally give his full side of the story. He began by talking about why he joined TikTok in the first place. Back in uh, 2018, I started TikTok and started enjoying it. I wanted to find an outlet to entertain people. You know, me being the butt of the joke, you know, making cringy videos and me just not really caring what people think. Before it's like, look, I'm willing to believe you on that, my dude. I'm willing to believe you on that. The problem is when you start talking to underage girls. If you just never did that to begin with, I, it, this would be a completely different situation. For giving a possible motive. For and you're not going to tell me decisions. that you, that, like, that, that, it's very clear what you were trying to do there. I'm not an idiot. Schizophrenia, alcohol abuse. There's a Congratulations. I also have depressive dis a ma major depressive disorder. I also have an anxiety disorder. I'm not a schizo. Uh, alcohol abuse had it. Don't have it anymore because I stopped drinking alcohol for a minute. But I mean, that's not even a real like problem for me, uh, to be completely honest. A lot of those videos that I was not necessarily like these aren't excuses. The, 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 you're not going to convince me that any of this has to do with you communicating with a 14 year old girl like this just doesn't work that way you can't you can't just start throwing doctor's notes out there saying like that's why i'm a pedo it doesn't work that way it just has nothing to do with it, do with it. To go back i have stopped drinking completely i'm back on my medicine i'm in therapy the buddy's last real offense seemed to have been his park made up in you see I've, i everything he just said i have done me personally, I'm on my depression pill, I'm on my whatnot, I have therapy, I ha I, I, I'm not talking to 14 year old girls! What do you mean? So perhaps after everything, the buddy has finally learned his lesson. I doubt it. I doubt it. I, I highly doubt it, because he's, instead of apologizing and changing, he's just, he's just making excuses. I highly doubt it, to be completely honest with you guys. I don't like that. I, it, it really pisses me off. <laughs> Genuinely. It's like, that's not an excuse! You you have like there was quite literally I don't I don't think I could figure out a good excuse for talking to underage girls like at all I I really doubt it unless you literally unless what in 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 every aspect it's like oh it's just a collaborative effort they 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 came to me to collaborate on a video or on a gameplay or on a whatever I don't see any real excuse for communicating with them at that point especially not in DMs there's nothing you could need to tell me on a DM that you couldn't just tell me on stream or in public or through a Twitter like you know a, a public twit you know tweet twit twit <laughs> a public tweet like there's just nothing there's nothing to communicate there I don't know I don't like it I don't like it I don't like it dude 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 yeah.